Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to remove and replace the ECU computer on Ford Fiesta. That's the engine computer guys. So stay with us and we'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, please subscribe, many more videos to come. Also, please guys, check out our new channel. We like to call car repair, quite a few videos coming there. Engine codes, things like that. So let's start on it. But before we proceed, we're going to disconnect the battery now. Okay, and every time we work with electrical connections, we would recommend disconnecting the battery. Okay, and there is always a certain way you disconnect it. Negative first, positive second. Otherwise, you can burn a computer, guys, and we've done it before. You can check out the video. It's on, it's on our channel. Okay, perfect. So you can see the engine computer is right here, but to have more access and to video better, uh, we're going to remove the intake pipe because we'll be doing other repairs too. So stay with us, we'll do that quick and we'll proceed with the next step. So first we need to remove the engine cover. We already got ours loose. It has four bushings. You can see, and you just pull it straight out. After that, we need to go ahead and disconnect, uh, disconnect that hose right here. So uh, you can either do it with a seven millimeter socket that we can use. Okay, I believe it was seven. And we're going to disconnect this pipe here, this as well. Okay, make sure you get it loose all the way. Not just to come off, but okay, like that. Now, let me disconnect this one here. Okay, you have to kind of like spread both of them on one side, push up a little bit, but careful not to break it. The same thing on the other side, and then you can pull it straight out just like that. Now this one, you squish right here and one on the bottom. At the same time, you pull it out. Okay, you can see, uh, just like that. After that, we need to disconnect the uh, brake booster vacuum hose, which is the same way. Okay, perfect. Now, we can go ahead actually and proceed by removing the mount for the intake hose with the 10 millimeter this nut over here and after that with the 12 we need to remove this is one of the holders for the engine cover so please guys subscribe as i said more than 200 videos will be on the channel of that car if you have any questions let us know we'll try to answer now flathead screwdriver or seven millimeter and we're going to uh, disconnect there is uh, uh, there is one of those there holding okay holding the intake hose okay i'm trying to focus it's that clamp okay right there uh, we're going to get a small ratchet and a seven millimeter so we can go ahead and get it loose so we got it loose now we'll try to lift it up and see if it's loose enough okay to come up or oh, maybe it's still holding there a little bit okay so it came up now let's go ahead and remove it first okay we're going to get it loose on this side just be gentle not to break any vacuum hoses because those could be expensive Okay, let's see if it's going to come out now. Okay, so let me just make sure that everything's good. Okay, now very careful here not to break any vacuum hoses. Okay, and it came out now. Not rubber bushing. It's still attached there, so we need to go ahead and remove it from the intake hose. And install it on this one, otherwise later you will not be able to push the hose in. Okay, that's the one we are talking about. So we need to go over here, so you can slide it on top of the other hose connector. Otherwise, it will be impossible to get this one in. Now, this is the intake pipe right here and it's wide open. It's very important to not drop anything in it. So what we're going to do, 
we'll just get a rubber glove and we'll cover it but it's very important to remove it once you're done because otherwise you will damage your engine yeah, okay so you can see we need to remove that pipe so we can reach the ECU here at the intake you can just remove the small section here it works as well just you have two options we need to remove that clip by unscrewing the middle part out pull it up, pull it up. next we can remove that plastic piece okay it goes down there you can see so now a uh, 10 millimeter socket guys we need to remove four nuts two on top right here and uh, usually those once you get them loose the good thing about those they go by hand okay and we have two on the bottom that are hard to reach okay one there and one on the front side towards the wires okay perfect now let's go ahead and screw the nuts you have to be careful not to drop them not to go nuts trying to find the nuts we have guys more than 200 videos on this car so please subscribe if you need any any help just let us know we'll try to make a video okay it got loose now we can go ahead and pull it out of the bracket there and we'll need to disconnect the wires now again make sure your battery is disconnected at least one hour i'll recommend before the repair push down on that thing and pull the great thing down okay and the wire will get loose now one more and this one is on the other side it's actually reverse design okay and these guys okay you have to be very careful with the wiring this guy's right here is the ECU out of a Ford Fiesta uh, specifically ours is an ST but the regular Fiesta I think will be the same way so thank you for watching guys please subscribe and many more videos to come